How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today, we're checking out a family airplane. Stay tuned, we're gonna check out the Piper Lands. Here we are guys. Piper is one of the homegrown names in general aviation. And you know that their most popular brand or models are the Cherokee family. And this baby right here belongs to that family. The Piper Lance started building these in 75. As a matter of fact, the predecessor for this airplane was the Piper 6, the Cherokee 6. And it's very similar body frame. If you look at this, let me step back a little bit. You can see that the, the frame, the body is much longer. That's because this airplane was built to carry more people, six people. And so initially the Cherokee 6 came out, which had a fixed landing gear. When you look at this airplane here, you see that it's retractable landing gear. And this airplane has a bit more hump, a bit more uh, performance to it. And speaking of, so we start here with the power plant. You've got 300 horsepower. This airplane uses a Lycoming IO540, which puts it in the high performance class. And these three bladed prop here from Macaulay, this is a constant speed prop. So you get to switch your blade angles to get the best performance out of this thing. But you look at the nose of this airplane, very similar to the smaller class Cherokee that you have out there. And again, for a lot of pilots, particularly new pilots out there, uh, the Cherokee, the Piper Cherokee, the four seater, is what a lot of us learn in or fly as a private airplane. And then you've also got uh, the Tomahawk. As a matter of fact, the owner of this airplane learned how to fly in a Piper Tomahawk, which he still owns, but he got this plane because he wanted to carry his entire family. And something that's actually unique to the Piper Lands is this wing right here. So you know the Cherokee line of airplanes have a Hershey bar wing, which this Piper Lands also has. What's a Hershey bar wing? You can look at this wing, you can see it's pretty much straight, like a straight bar. But if you look at other wings, you would have like a cut in the, uh, the edge of the wing here. But you look at this wing, it's pretty much straightforward all the way through. And uh, the Saratoga, which is the model that came after this airplane, that has a tapered wing, which is again, different from this. But a Hershey bar wing actually allows you to carry more load, believe it or not. So this Piper Lance compared to the predecessor actually gives you more useful load. And that way you can carry more people and go places. And just standard, like any other airplane wing, you've got your ailerons and your flaps here. Uh, something also that you notice about this airplane is quite low to the ground. And right now I've got, well, we've got a, uh, a ground plug and that way I can show you some of the sweet stacks in the panel there, so stay tuned. And as I said, it is a retractable landing gear. So you've got your back wheels here and the nose gear up front. You've got a step up here and which allows you entry into this airplane. Now, something you know, or some of you may know about the Cherokees also, when you think about the four seater, you've only got one door, okay? So you've got one door here as well, but there's also another door uh, on the other side, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But again, you look at this airplane, it's pretty long. As a matter of fact, there's a joke. This airplane is, you can use it for quite a number of things. Even uh, people in funeral homes, I've heard business, those businesses use can use this airplane to carry coffins. It's not the best example, but just to show you some of the capabilities of this thing and you see how long the back is. And as we move along here, another unique aspect of the design of this aircraft, you see that the tail here, is pretty much straight back. So you've got the uh, the elevator, the horizontal stabilizer below here, and then the rudder up there. This is a 76 model. From 78, I mean 77 to 78, uh, Piper actually changed the design of this tail and they had a T-tail. So this that you see down here now came up. But then when they moved to the Saratoga, which again is pretty much the same airplane, just different design and some some uh, new features on it, uh, the Piper went back to this straight back. And again, something that's very unique, when you stand back here, you see how low this airplane is to the ground. 
okay i can see the entire roof line and something that's good about that is that it makes getting in and out of this aircraft very very easy and believe it or not i think the paint job on this thing looks very clean a lot of airplanes that were built during this time even today you usually have a white base coat and then you have some graphics to it i spoke to david the owner and he's actually planning to repaint the airplane but i think this looks very clean especially for 76 model the airplane looks very uh, well kept and also there are ad's or there were ad's issued for this aircraft basically all the lines of Piper Cherokees uh, that has to do with the wings and however many hours you have on the wings and this airplane has already been checked out so the wings are great but while I'm here let me show you what I love most about this aircraft which is the cabin so before we go to to the front where all the goodies are I want to show you this back you see right now there are two doors here which makes the opening really large and that means you can also load things in here if you're not carrying people or passengers you can you have enough room to load a bunch of stuff in here so you've got this one door and then this that opens up kind of like a Pilatus PC-12 which is pretty clean and again look I'm 5'10 I could easily just put my foot and get inside this cabin without any problems and then you look at the cabin itself guys I've seen hundreds of airplanes old airplanes and for a 76 model this thing looks pretty pretty clean and even david said he's looking to still upgrade it i would it looks good to me i sat in it earlier and i'll actually sit in it to show you some of the the comfort in this thing uh, but for a 76 uh, model airplane the interior looks very neat and like i said this is a six seater and guess what you've got one two three four five six now in terms of comfort so let's actually get in let me get in again to get in there's no step up here because you don't need it you can easily just step in the airplane and boom i'm sitting now so here's one thing you may fight with whenever you get into an airplane so i'm trying to raise the seat here boom so guys here i am in the interior okay i'm sitting now now the only thing you may be concerned about in an aircraft like this is perhaps the leg space. So if you look at my leg room here, my knees are bent pretty high, but I imagine if somebody's also sitting in front of me, we should have fairly enough room. And obviously you can always crisscross. So say for example, somebody else has their legs here or their legs here. But this is typical for airplanes like this, where the seating, you're basically facing each other and you've got cup holders. So you've got four there, you've got armrests. I mean, these little basic things, guys, they matter. And you've got another armrest for those seats on the corner there, okay? And you see, actually, let me reverse the camera so you guys can see me. So here I am sitting in the back, like I said, I've got a lot more hair than the average person, okay? And I still have a few inches between me and the roof line here. And guys, I am 5'10". Um, and I can, I'm sitting comfortably in this seat. For old seats, they're not bad. Now, I don't know how long I personally will last uh, in an airplane as a passenger. I know for me as a pilot, usually I don't like to be in a small airplane longer than two to three hours, honest, not even up to four. Two to three hours, I'm good. Uh, so comfort level, I, I'm sitting in, in these seats right now and they are, they are pretty comfortable. Something else that's unique to the Piper Lance, you look up here, these are AC vents, okay? You don't see air condition a lot, almost never in uh, general aviation uh, airplanes. And you've got air vents back here. They're not just air vents, guys. AC is in this aircraft, which is unique. And I think, honestly, it depends on the, uh, sorry about the shaking with my gimbal for whatever reason, it started shaking now. But something that I think you may get as a benefit when you go from a two-seater or four-seater into a bigger airplane like a six-seater is you get features like this. And generally, you may think of luxury brands like Cirrus are the only aircraft with air condition. But guess what? Pipers have been putting air conditions in the airplane for years before Cirrus. So that's one fun fact there. This airplane does come equipped with air condition. And when I spoke to the owner, 
he typically doesn't even use it in flight usually you use it maybe on a hot day when you're on the ground but once you get in the air everything gets cooler and you don't need your air condition as this airplane does have a baggage compartment back here and you can put about a hundred pounds of stuff back here but here's the interesting thing other hundred pounds that you can put in this baby and guess what what this allows for a quiet cabin because when you put load here you actually have like a shock absorber for your noise that's between you and the engine so i would actually put more stuff here than back there so as i said earlier something that's that you find in a lot of cherokee airplanes is that you only have one door to the front although this airplane you can always come through the back but this is the only door to get in so as the pile you would come in from the right side and to open the door you basically have this handle here which i'll pop open and i can open the door so let me show you guys what's inside first of all look at the cabin space up here just look at it look how much room you've got here look even between the seats and your rudder pedals and you've got all of the goodies all of the goodies right here so this airplane is not your standard Piper Lance, at least for a 76 model. You can see that this one has been upgraded to complete glass panel here. You've got even a, an iPad mount with the fans on, so that way your, your iPad doesn't overheat. But let me get it, let me get in and show you guys. So many of you who watch this channel are already familiar with this avionics panel here. Uh, because i have something similar in my airplane so this is all garmin this is a gtn 37 it's basically in the same class or family as the one i have in my airplane which is the the 650 i think this has a smaller screen but nothing not much difference to it you've got your radios with the comms uh also autopilot gnc 500 i believe this is you can you have the 500 and the 550 but you, if you watch my channel, you may have seen this before, it works the same way. Uh, so this is your autopilot system here. And guess what? You've also got another G3X with the smaller seven inch screen on the right side. And you can see here, he basically uses this more for your engine management and your screen here, but practically anything you can put on this screen, you can always transfer to this as well. So this is a very, uh, very unique uh, panel. And also guys, you see that there's still room. So got all of this nice glass here, but you still have some room here. And again, you've got the, the iPad mount. Guys, every time I've mentioned automatic switch in the Sling TSI, this is what I mean. So for your conventional constant speed propeller, this is the lever I always refer to, right? So for example, if I'm flying this airplane, I've got my power in. So let's say I went from full power to maybe 75. I also need to adjust my propeller blade to match that speed. And so for me, I would have to manually, you basically have to manually move this thing back and forth. And you'd also have to manually move your mixture if you wanna you know, save some fuel or whatever the case may be. So all that stuff you would have to do manually in this type of airplane. Um, but in a TSI, it's all automatically done. So for, for those of you who have been hearing me say that, this is, this is the, a good explanation for it. So you've got your, your throttle quadrant here, and if you look closer here, this is your gear light, okay? And gear lever there. Um, what else we got down here? You've got your fuel selector down at the bottom, and something that's very common with these planes is your trim, your nose trim. I actually like this better. Uh, I just started getting used to the electronically controlled trim, but these work great because you get almost immediate feedback whenever you use it. So if I scroll this down, I can feel it as I'm doing it compared to an electronic one where you'd have to press it and then wait maybe a millisecond or a few seconds to, to see it kick in. So this is something nice here. Um, and then I showed you the rudder pedals earlier. Uh, what else is neat about this airplane? Oh, guys, you see the backlight in here, very, very nice. And you can also switch it to a different, so say for example, you're flying at night, you can switch this to the blue, so you have a lower light, but it's really nice. During the day, you might not see the difference, but I'm sure when you're flying in the dark, this, this will really come alive.
So you've got that nice backlighting system. And then on the right side here, you've got your AC stuff, AC controls. And then this is your circuit breakers. Not much for an airplane that's this big. Uh, pretty, pretty compact circuit breakers here. And again, as I showed you up front, guys, let me turn the camera back to me. So this is me sitting on the passenger side or in the passenger seat here. And you can see, I, it's, <laughs> I can't tell you how much room I have here. Again, I'm pretty average in terms of my size, but I don't imagine that somebody who's on the bigger side will have any problem uh, sitting in this seat or the pilot seat. So you've got a ton of room and your leg room. Let me show you my leg room. So you see here, a lot of room so and I'm not I'm pretty comfortable also with the way I'm bending my knees so there's a lot of room for your for your uh, legs and your rudder pedals here something I would say is that with this airplane it feels like I'm sitting low so my head is almost aligned with the dash here so I imagine whenever I'm flying along I may need to either move up or raise my seat whatever the case may be so that's something I did notice and so lastly, some cool, unique stuff also in this airplane. You've got USB ports. Uh, these are great just to charge your phones, GoPros, a device. And you've got a bunch up here, just four on this side alone. And you've got another two on that side. Last thing I want to mention about the Piper Lance is the performance. So in this airplane, you've got enough speed to carry all the load that you want. Uh, the owner told me he typically cruises between 140 and 150 knots and that's burning about 15 gallons of fuel per hour now your climb rate say you're fully loaded with the airplane you'd probably see about 800 to a thousand feet per minute but if it's just you or maybe two people you can see up to 2,000 feet a minute in this airplane now with the range of this airplane fully loaded with fuel you can travel up to 800 miles with reserve in the Piper Land. So that's not bad. This is a great airplane if you're in the market for a family airplane or you just need a plane to carry cargo. There's a lot of room back there and I would definitely look at this aircraft. Now the price. A fully stacked airplane with the glass panel like this airplane has, you're looking at maybe mid hundred thousands, right? Uh, but if you can find one in good condition, maybe with a steam gauge that's even well kept, you're probably looking at the hundreds or early hundreds, maybe hundred, hundred and ten thousand dollars for this aircraft. Now also right now may be even more expensive to buy an aircraft with the pandemic. For whatever reason, the, the cost of prices of airplanes have gone up, but to find a well maintained and used Piper Lance, I would budget at least a hundred thousand for one with glass panel. Definitely add a little bit more to that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, be sure to subscribe to Mojo Group with the notification bell on. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, this is my review of the Piper Lens, and I will catch you on the next video.